it's the wisdom of the great greatness that speaks through you, that message you. This is the voice of your inner guru that takes time for us to tune into that language. We do have the inner guru. The problem is that majority of us don't know the language of the inner guru. We we don't know the language. So that's why existence provides utter guru. A guru comes from the outside. A teacher comes from the outside. Whether it's permanent or it's short term, it doesn't matter. Whether it's for you for a period of time till you reach certain spiritual maturity and then you can tune in, you understand, start learning because a true guru, a true teacher will force you, will direct you inwards to yourself invites you to go in a journey within to recognize yourself to tune into yourself because ultimately you are the one who you're looking for the great wisdom is within your own self all the answers that you're looking for is in yourself everything in this life that you are looking for a value is within your own self you already carry that within yourself however we are looking for it in the utter world because the way we've been brought up because our parents didn't teach us this because we our school system did not teach us this kind of things. These kind of things to them is bullshit. It's nonsense. It's fantasy. It's meaningless. So if you're in a religious family, they take you to the church or mosque or whatever, and they w make you worship and believe in something, God, who is punishing everyone, instead of looking for God within within and tuning into the greatness of the being within yourself. You see that? Do you see what is going on? Do you get an idea now? Yeah? You're here? Cool. So The more you tune in, the more you honor your intuitive knowing, the more you honor your truth and you speak your truth, and as you work on your mind to quiet down, the more you hear this language, the more you understand it, and you come to your power. Because you may stand up in front of your father, yeah, 30, 40, 50 years gone by, but now you stand up to your father. If he is rude to you or he's bullying you, even though it's super frightening, and you say, Father, I, I love you, I need to tell you my truth. And I am not going to submit to what you're saying. No. No longer accept this. I don't accept this language. I don't accept your behavior. Or to your mom or your boss or whatever, you stand up. Even though the, co the price is you may lose your, your job, but you are standing up to them honoring yourself because something inside you is telling you no. And you're listening to that language. You're tuning into that language. Or something inside you tells you, 
go to this teacher or go to this leader or go to this health food store or go to YouTube and type in, look for, I don't know, whatever health condition you may have or whatever. Something keeps telling you if you tune in. I have it like a lot of times. I can hear something is saying, call your friend, call James, call da da da, da call Susan. I keep hearing it. Call her, call her, call her. And, you know, in the beginning, maybe, or call your mom, or go see your mom, or call, do something, whatever. Reach out to someone. And I keep hearing it throughout the day, and the second day, and the third day. And I've learned, like, when it just goes beyond a day or two, and I keep hearing this, and I call this friend or someone, whatever is the situation, I contact them, and they say, you know, Zaratustra, I've been thinking about you, or I've been really wanting to reach out to you, or thank you for calling me. I really needed this phone call because I've been so depressed, or I've been thinking about killing myself, or you just showed up like an angel or really needed this. Uh, because you're, you're listening to this voice inside yourself. You have tuned into it. This is different than the mind. And it leads you to the right place, always. Because it comes from the great wisdom. It leads you to the right action. It leads you to the right speech. Because again, it comes from the great, great wisdom. Anybody has any questions? Uh, Mr. Amir, is chat box open today? Anyone has any questions or uh, uh, Hilda, can you, is the chat box open? Can you write something? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, good. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So does anyone have questions, feels like sharing something or talk about this? <laughs> 